hi everyone welcome back to my channel all right so looking at my skin you guys can see i have large pores acne breakouts acne marks problematic skin you guys so in today's video i'm going to show you guys how to cover up especially large pores because i know large pores can be really really annoying especially when you're done applying your makeup you can still see all the pores you know and one thing people fail to realize is if you have an oily skin there is high probability that you will end up having large pores because the more sebum, you know, the more um, your pores produce oil, you, the more enlarged they become. So, in today's video, I'm going to show you guys a few steps I take to, you know, achieve a flawless looking skin and also how I cover up my large pores. You have to, you know, know the basics, how to go ahead and fill it up before then applying your makeup. So, let's just go ahead and get started. Alright, so we have to get up close and personal so you guys can see what I'm doing. The very first thing I'm going to talk about is primer because if you have a problematic skin, I would seriously advise you try to buy a very, you know, nice primer. If you have an oily skin, I would always advise you get a mattifying primer. But when it comes to the pores, you guys, you can see I have this product right here and this is the Rimmel um photo ready pore reducing primer so you need something like this this is also very very affordable it's from the drugstore so you need did i just say remail no this is from revlon you guys this is revlon and yeah you need a pore minimizing primer i absolutely love this one from revlon and also i have another primer you guys know this is my heart and dye and this one is the becca ever poreless priming perfecta. I always notice whenever I use this primer you guys it just helps to minimize my pores and recently I picked up this one right here and this one is from Too Faced is the cooling matte skin perfecting primer I absolutely like I absolutely love this particular primer you guys this is what I've been using of late because it just helps blow out my my acne scarring my dark spots and also it helps a lot in filling in my large pores. I love to deposit like two pumps of the primer and make sure you're working with a clean finger. You don't want to apply anything on your problematic skin with a dirty hand. I'm just gonna go ahead and deposit like one pump on this side and then one pump on this side. I love the fact that this primer have kind of a peach um you know color to it because it helps a lot in blurring out kind of dark marks or even green marks because you know you working with the color wheel you know pink helps to neutralize green and also kind of brown so that is one of the reasons I absolutely love this primer so what I normally do is just use my finger and begin to press the primer into my pores I always concentrate where I have you know the majority of pores and then go ahead and just spread it out I also have some very deep pores on my nose and as you all can see I'm using kind of a pushing motion like I'm not rubbing it all over my face because especially if you have a problematic skin you want to make sure that whatever you're applying on your face stays you don't want to kind of you know just buff it all over the skin because yeah as you're buffing it you're, you're not like concentrating the product on your skin so I just love to take my time and continue kind of stippling the primer onto my skin all right so next i'm going to also go ahead and apply another primer you guys this kind of helps in filling in, in my pores and also neutralizing my you know my discoloration while this one is specifically for my oily skin and i'm going to divide my face into two you guys i'm going to work on one side of my face and then leave the other side bare. so by the time we are all done, you guys can see the difference between where I worked on and my bare skin. So, I'm going to still go in with another primer and this one is from Becca. And I love to, you know, apply maybe like one or two pumps of this primer because this helps a lot. In oh my gosh, what is all this, you guys? Look at that. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and apply two pumps of this primer on this side of my face I think we're gonna work with this side of the face and leave this side so just two pumps is fine and then I'm gonna use my finger and just work it into my skin and with this one I concentrate it on the areas on my problematic areas and also just make sure I distribute it all over my skin 
so just the same way we applied the other primer i'm still gonna kind of push it into the skin i never rub my primer like i never buff my primer because i just need it to adhere to my skin so it, it will be able to pick on the foundation and just do what it's meant to do and also i notice whenever i rub especially this becca primer whenever i rub it like i go ahead and rub it it always produces white residues which i absolutely hate so you just want to use a tapping motion and just push it into your pores I'm not sure if you guys can see but can you spot a great difference between this side of my face and this side as you all can see like this side right here is looking really really matte while on this side it's still looking very oily and you can still see like all my dark spots my blemishes and also my large pores but here everything is all filled in as you all can see like you can hardly see any pores on my face and even my dark spots are kind of they are kind of minimized next thing will be foundation and when it comes to foundation you guys my absolute favorite foundation you guys already know is the Kat Von D Lucky 30 foundation this right here is just the best foundation when it comes to problematic skin and this is my absolute favorite when it comes to high-end but then when it comes to drugstore you guys this foundation the LA Girl Pro Matte Foundation this is my absolute favorite drugstore foundation if you have a problematic skin oily skin and my shade in the Kat Von D is the 71 while LA Girl is not made so once I've given the primer maybe a minute or two to absorb into the skin the next thing will be to apply foundation and you guys whenever I want to specifically work on my large pores the first thing I always do after my primer is to go in with a smaller brush you guys as you all can see this one is from Dalton Cosmetics I love to go in with a smaller brush and then pick up the foundation and just concentrate it on my pores like as you all can see just once once I dot the foundation you can see like applying the foundation actually makes your pores really really um you know emphasized it helps emphasize the pores as you all can see like you can see the pores you can see all this deep deep scarring on my skin so I love to go ahead and just apply my foundation using a small brush right on the pores and just gradually staple it in and this will just help fill in the pores I know a lot of people always say oh my gosh this is gonna clog the pores but you guys fact is when you apply your makeup you're supposed to remove it at the end of the day and deep clean your pores so I love to go ahead and start working the foundation into my skin in a circular motion and as you're doing that you can see the pores on the skin is like gradually fading away Alright, so I love to leave this for maybe a minute to dry up and the next thing will be to go ahead and color correct my skin because as you all can see, I have some acne marks, I have some dark spots and the best concealer I always use is a brown concealer. I know a lot of people always ask me, oh my God, how come you use a brown concealer on a dark spot? Like it doesn't make sense. But you guys, this is what has worked for me for years. So I'm going to go in with my MAC Pro Conceal and Correct Palette and I will pick up this brown shape right here. Whenever I do this and then go ahead and apply my foundation, you guys, you can hardly ever see any spots on my face. I'm now going to go ahead and just distribute the foundation all over my skin and then go ahead with my foundation brush and just blend it all out. And when I'm blending out my foundation, as you all can see, I'm not buffing it out. I just love to staple, you guys. You just need as much coverage as you can get. And of course, I'm using my Beauty Crush Cosmetics Foundation Brush. This right here is my Holy Grail. Also, when you're applying your foundation, remember to blend it down your neck. You don't want to have any demarcation between your face and your body. So this is what we have here. This is the makeup side and this is the raw side. You guys, you can see there's a great difference and the next thing would be to go ahead and highlight my face when you have a problematic skin and you want to highlight please stick to concealers that are maybe a shade or two lighter than your skin you don't want to go four shades or six shades lighter because that is just going to help emphasize whatever you're trying to hide and this is the Too Faced Bond This Way Multi-Use Cocktail Concealer in the shade Butterscotch I'm just going to use it to highlight my under eye 
and then use my favorite beauty blender from beauty crush cosmetics this right here is just so soft and it doesn't suck up your product one thing about this concealer is it's very very pigmented so a little bit goes a long way I'm gonna go ahead and immediately set the concealer with Laura Mercier translucent powder and when I'm setting my concealer especially when I want to hide you know my large pores and my dark spots I love to go ahead and use kind of a puffy um, sponge and just go ahead and pick up the product I love to go ahead and start pressing the powder onto my under eye and also fit because of the fact that I'm um, trying to hide my pores you guys I'm also using a pushing motion kind of a stippling motion to apply the powder just take your time there is no need to rush you just want to concentrate on you know the areas like your problem areas and apply the powder one thing I love about this powder is the fact it's translucent so it's it doesn't have any color to it so it will just help you know balance and blend out whatever you're using it to set so I'm just going to go ahead and use the same powder and just set all over my skin because this also acts kind of a mattifying powder like it helps to powder and mattify your foundation. Alright so here we are. I'm not sure if you guys can spot any difference. As you all can see I was able to hide up all those you know dark spots, acne and also my large pores. On like this side right here like this is my raw skin and this is the makeup side and that is all there is you guys I recently stopped using highlights and in as much as I love highlighters you guys but I've always noticed that whenever I use a highlight because of the fact I have a very severe problematic skin like Highlights always emphasize, you know, my problem areas, especially on my cheek, like my pores and everything. So I just stopped using highlights. Yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. And um, please let me know if you have other tips, like if you have any tips you personally use for your large pores or your dark spots or your acne, definitely let me know in my comment section. And please don't forget to hit that like button below. Please, you guys, just like this video if you did enjoy and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and till my next video i will see you all very very soon